John Michael here with Planet Cosplay. I'm here with Andrew Metz, and Andrew Metz is with um, Alzabo Alzabo Soup. Soup. Yeah, Alzabo Soup. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about Alzabo Soup. Sure. Um, Alzabo Soup is a podcast. We are a weekly sort of book club. Um, the two of us, Phil, my partner, and I take uh, about an hour to an hour and a half to go through just one or two chapters of the book that we're reading. And so sometimes it takes up to a month for that book to, um, for us to read the whole book over the course of the podcast. When we're looking at it, we stop and look at the definitions of obscure words, the implications that it might have for the story, and also some of the references that the author might use. And we tend to use um, authors that really stand up to that level of analysis. We're really excited to be able to kind of dig into a text at a deep level that way. And um, so it, you do the entire book yes. through the chapters. They're very interesting. And who are who are you? Um, who have you done in the past? Um, so we focus heavily on Gene Wolfe, who is probably our favorite author, the inspiration for the podcast. The Alzebo is a creature in one of his books. Um, but in addition to that, we've uh, also covered Ursula K. Le Guin. We've covered Lord Dunsany, Rudyard Kipling, Jack Vance, Kelly Link, um, several other major authors along those lines, Ray Bradbury, because we think it's important not just to understand this author, but his influences and the greater speculative fiction scene as a whole. And then uh, for our uh, listeners and viewers uh -huh. right now, um, spell Alzabo. Sure. That is A-L-Z-A-B-O. And soup. Yes. On and the Alzebo podcast. Soup. And we're uh, alzabosoup.libsyn.com if you're interested. Dot Libsyn? Yep. L-I-B-S-Y-N dot com. Very good, very good. It's like, and what do you have coming up now? What are you reading? Right now we are reading um, actually the third book of the Gene Wolfe Book of the New Sun. Um, it's called The Sword of the Lictor. The Sword of the Lictor is three um, books in. It's the story of a young torturer's apprentice named Severian. He works for the Torturer's Guild, but he's cast out of that guild early in the series and has to find his way in the world on his own. It's really interesting because it's written as sort of a low fantasy when you're reading it on the surface level, but it's actually kind of a dying earth science fiction. So we're set in a time when the sun is about to burn out and we've gone past all technology. But our narrator character, Severian, has lived in that his entire life and doesn't have the context to explain that to us. We have to piece together around what he's saying to really understand the depth and what's going on in the background of the world that he lives in. Wow, incredible. It's like, are both of you writers? Um, have you written? Before? I'm not a big writer. I'm a theater professional. So I've worked with uh, the theater community a lot and make stories that way. Um, <laughs> Nothing serious, though. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And to do a podcast is great, you know. Oh, There's it, a lot of them here in Denver, in the Colorado area. Yeah, it's wonderful, and I think it's been a great experience yeah, for both yeah. of us. We've, we've really found our niche and uh, found success. Yeah. We really found our niche and found our success. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, it, it's been a really positive experience. We're only a couple years at this point, but we found a community, and yeah, we're just looking for more people who are interested in this kind of discussion of books and level of analysis. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One of the great things is that we've uh, really started the podcast because the two of us would be having these conversations anyway, yeah. and so it was great to have the opportunity to actually put that out in the community and it's wonderful that we actually have a community of people who are interested in listening to us talk about it. And that kind of thing when you're, you're um, working in the background and saying we should just do a podcast it sounds pretty good it's you know it's uh, reminiscent of um, get Doug with high in my mind it's like I can see him sitting around his living room doing that kind of thing. Well thanks for taking a little time with Planet Cosplay today. Absolutely. Appreciate it. Thank appreciate you very it. Much. Yeah. We appreciate it too. Thank you guys. No problem. Thank you.